Taven. I'm a pup, bark bark, and welcome to another edition of Math with Taven. Today, I want to talk about a certain technique of integration, a very useful and important one called integration by parts. And this is something you would encounter in any integral calculus class. Calculus 2 is usually what it is. Two very useful websites. WolframAlpha.com, it, it solves lots of math problems for you so you can check your answers and good stuff like that. And Desmos.com is a great free online graphing utility to explore and have fun with math. For this, I'm going to just assume that you know basic integration and of course differentiation too. So I, I won't, you know, delve into those details because I'll um, assume you know that. So let's just dive right in. Dive with the fluff. So the integration by parts formula is the integral of u dv equals u v minus the integral of v du. And I apologize for my bad, bad handwriting with my pauses. And so the idea is, so u and v will be functions. And the idea is pick you, not me, but you, and all else follows. Now see, how this works is, a good way to solve problems is you take something you don't know how to do and turn it into something you do know how to do. So for example, if I wanted to integrate x e to the 3x, dx, if I pick my u correctly, uh, when I get to this integral, it's going to be easier to integrate than the original thing. So it all comes down to make sure you pick your u correctly. If you don't pick it correctly, you'll just find out you're just making the problem harder and harder on you, so you try something else. So let me just tell you the, what I'm going to pick here, and then I'll talk a little bit more about a good way to know what to pick for your u in a, a little bit. If I were to pick u to be this thing, notice I'm going to take a derivative. I'll, I'll say this now, I'll say, say it again. I'm going to take a derivative, so you want to pick your u so that it's easier after you differentiate it. That idea works about 98% of the time. When I differentiate x, I get something much easier. So that leads me to believe that's a good thing to try. Once I pick u, all else follows. So here's my u, and the only thing left is dv. So if I let u equal x, then that means what's left. dv has to be what's left over. e to the 3x dx. Okay, and that's a, this is an x. It wants alimony from me, because it's an X. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. This means that now I need to know what du and v are. Well, du is just the derivative of my u function, which is just a dx in this case. It's a derivative of x, is just one. And then, how do I find v? Well, v equals, you don't have to write this every time, but v is just the integral of dv, right? <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> so to find v, you're just integrating this dv thing, which is this, the integral of e to the 3x. And again, basic um, u substitution, basic um, integration gives you that this is one-third e to the 3x. And uh, plus a constant, um, but we don't actually have to worry about the constants. We can just pick the constant to be zero in this case, in, in all these cases. So let's see what this does then. Um, so this will equal, well, I've, I've rewritten my problem as integral of u dv. So the integration by parts formula tells me that this will now turn into u 
v minus the integral of v du. U. Now I can just plug them in and see what happens. Um, uv is x, u is x, x times v is this one third e to the three x theme, theme e. Ah, I can't write e three x minus the integral of v. It's the thing I just wrote down. E to three x du. In this case, it's just a dx. It's possible when you do these things. This could be like an x squared here or a sine or something. You just write it down. E x. Because let me. Um, e x. That's this guy. <laughs> Messy, but so now look. The thing we have to integrate now is easier than um, where we started. And that, that's the goal. So this is. I'll just rewrite this as. 1 third times x e to the 3x minus, and if you integrate this again, it's 1 third of that, so minus 1 ninth e to the 3x, and now we can plug, um, throw in our constant. And you know you're right, because when you take the derivative of this, you get what you start with back again. So uh, let me clear all this out, and then we have more space. For example, the integral of x to the 1 half times the natural log of x dx. You have to pick your u. How do you know how to pick your u? Um, well, I'll just tell you what it is here, then after this uh, I'll say a little quick thing about, about it. Remember, you want when you take the derivative, you want it to get easier. So that's kind of my guiding principle. dv along with the dx is <laughs> that's all dv. So u is natural log of x. Oh, so dv is everything that's left over. One half dx. So if, if you remember that the derivative of natural log is 1 over x, it's the thing that you normally find in the woods, a natural log. <laughs> um, dx. And then if we integrate x to the 1 half, again, assuming you remember basic integration, Add 1 to the exponent, divide by what you just uh, raised it to. You're gonna you'll have x to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves. You can rewrite that as that. Anyway, a little algebra there uh, for you to make sure you can do on your own. Then once you get that, this then turns out to be uv minus the integral of v du u times v will be natural log of the x times v is this uh, minus the integral of v du. x, uh, v is this thingy, x to the three halves, and du is one over x. Then you can do some algebra here, and this turns into, let me write this like this, minus, pull out the two thirds, x to the three halves divided by x, algebra makes it x to the one half, and then you can integrate that pretty easy is 2 thirds x, 3 halves, natural log of x, minus 2 
thirds times. We're just integrating x to the one half again. Uh, three halves plus c. And there you have it. So there you have it. There's a few examples of an integration by parts and how it works. It's just practice, practice, practice. You start getting a feel for how to pick your U. There is a little trick, uh, but I decided not to tell you that because I, I want you to get practice and develop intuition about how you should pick your U and stuff. Then maybe someday later I'll tell you the little trick. But I think it's really important for you to just do problems over and over and over again and get used to it and develop intuition. That's the only way to, to learn this stuff. Anyway, I hope you've learned a lot. I know I've had a lot of fun explaining things to you. So on that note, I'll see you next time on Math with Taven. Bark, bark.